Hi, as uh, Dana said, I'm a born entrepreneur. Since a kid, I was uh, like ADHD kid, very hyperactive. I was always invented things. I sold liver, uh, livers, I, <laughs> I cut the grass, I uh, sold newspapers, did talent shows in the, in the garage of my home, I did all kinds of stuff. But really, what I loved was music. So I started being, uh, being a DJ. I started DJing in house parties, you know? And from being a DJ in house parties, then I, uh, I started DJing professionally when I started in college, in a club here. From a DJ in a club, I started, I wanted more money, so I started being a promoter. So I promoted clubs, and I ended up with a nightclub, another nightclub, another restaurant, and, and I was very successful. And then I did a promo agency. So we started doing a below the, a below the line marketing agency and working for brands like Coors, Bacardi, and stuff. But by accident, in 2013, I jumped, I took the leap into tech, and I built a company called Wireless Idea that was about mobile marketing, and it grew to, uh, to 14 countries, 11, 17 countries to Latin America. Okay? When I learned that uh, at the same time, you know, Puerto Rico was going on a downfall in the economic recession, I got married, I had two kids, and uh, I started asking myself, should I, you know, what should I do? I should leave the island or not? And then I found my purpose. It was more like a like a middle life crisis kind of thing, you know. <laughs> so I love entrepreneurship. That was my passion. That's my hobby. You know. So I decided uh, to to do uh, to work on entrepreneurship. I went to MIT. I did an entrepreneurship development program, and I learned about SMEs and IDEs. SMEs being the local business at the mom and pop shop. You know, my agency. That was an SME. It's a local. Uh, uh, Business, you know, that has that doesn't have exponential growth, and then I learn about IDE, which is Innovation Driven Enterprise. That's a tech business that are based on cloud, on the internet, and you can export to any country in the world. It's a global business. Then I said, uh, I need to uh, build a tech, you know, uh, uh, help build a tech uh, entrepreneurship ecosystem in Puerto Rico, and that ecosystem is built on six elements. The policies, the infrastructure, the financial capital, the market, the human capital, and the culture. And I said, I cannot attack by myself all. Oh. So I said, I'm, I'm going to focus on two. On the culture and the mindset of entrepreneurship, on the human capital. That we in Puerto Rico have huge, great human capital, especially the technology guys, uh, the guys that graduate from, from technology uh, engineering company, uh, engineering institutions in Puerto Rico. So I said, like, I'm going to focus on that. The first thing that I'm going to do is uh, educate. So what I did, I did a blog called WeAreMedia.com, and what I did there was share my experiences on entrepreneurship since I was a kid, and talk about tech entrepreneurship and all the things that are needed, you know. With the blog, I started getting a lot of feedback, really good feedback, you know, and I started doing one-on-one -on -one meetings with people trying to explain the vision about IDE and tech entrepreneurship, but it was very difficult. So what's I like, I need to make this very concrete, and I did this uh, uh, infographic that shows how the ecosystem is built right now in Puerto Rico, but this is like an underground movement. Not everybody sees it, but this is happening. When I did the infographic, I said like, okay, now some people are, are understanding it, but then I said like, I need to do something more. And I found out that uh, to, for a successful startup team, there's a formula. And there are three guys that are very uh, necessary to, to build a, a startup team. And that startup team is composed by the hacker, the hustler, and the hipster. But these three guys are very different, and they, they don't get along, they don't know each other, they don't understand each other, they don't value each other. Go back to high school, you know, the, the, the geek, you know, is the hacker, it's a smart guy, you know. The hustler is the guy that bullies the geek, you know, and the hipster is it's it's an artist, you know. Let me go into explaining a little bit about these three guys. This is Mark Zuckerberg, he's a hacker. He's a very smart guy, he's a computer engineer, introvert, you know, but he can make a lot of things happen just with coding, you know? Then you have a guy like a, like a, like a, <laughs> some, some, this is my guy, but that's what I call it, you know? So you have here a Sean Parker. This is the hustler. This is the guy that helped uh, uh, Mark Zuckerberg get the money when he needed it. You know, this is, this is the guy that is with a knife in the, in, the, in the mouth, like looking for business and he smells the money. This is the guy that is an extrovert. He will go to anybody, introduce people. He's a connector. This is a guy that makes a business. This is he smells the money. And here you have the hipster. Hipster, you know what I mean? He's the designer. He's a creator. This is the man be, be, behind Apple uh, uh, devices right now. But this guy's an introvert. He's in, you know you've seen this guy talk. You know when he presents his products. He's 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 like an artist. You know. But when you put these three guys together, they can do magic. You know. So the idea is to promote technology-based entrepreneurship. You know, by encouraging and celebrating successful collision between these three. And in the same event, uh, promote the core values that are needed, you know, in order 
for this type of entrepreneurship business flourish in, 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 in Puerto Rico and contribute to the social and economic development on the island. You know? The idea of this event also is to promote these core values that I established that are super important for this to develop. Think big, collaborate, be trustworthy, and trust people, embrace and create change, be creative, embrace diversity, experiment, listen and learn, pay it forward, and move fast. <laughs> <laughs> so this is important. Everybody needs to live by this, these core values. If we get that, it's going to be great. So we're, we're putting together a great lineup of speakers, you know, professors from MIT, from Stanford entrepreneurs. For example, Eduardo Rivas holds his 20 years old, 28 years old. Dropout sold his company in February to link for LinkedIn, 137 million. Javier Sortero, Puerto Rican, also doing a great job in Silicon Valley. Randy Thompson, you know, it's, it's a, a, a lineup, a big lineup. So it's going to be an event today. We're going to have like three keynotes and then three concurrent sessions. One concurrent session for entrepreneurship, one concurrent session on, on software development, and one concurrent session on, on design thinking. Uh, it's going to be like, a, I'm, I'm making entrepreneurship a little bit sexy, you know? It's going to be a very interactive event. Uh, these are uh, companies that are going to be having the event, like a Hackfest, a Jumpstart Pavilion, the Big Market, which is a speed dating kind of event, mm -hmm. Startup Awards. The first startup awards in Puerto Rico to recognize all the people that are doing great job from community builders to entrepreneurs to investors. And the startup showcase is a pitch competition, you know, for investors. Uh, I just want to present this because I want you guys to uh, fulfill my purpose of becoming a catalyst for tech entrepreneurship in the island. Uh, help me promote this and, uh, and get these values that we, we need and behaviors in order for this to flourish. Thank you very much.